What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Bill, for anything. And I know, I get it. Starting your own podcast can be very, very intimidating at first. You're not too sure what equipment to get. You're not too sure how to get it on iTunes or Spotify or SoundCloud. It just, it seems very overwhelming at first, but I got you. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should start your podcast today, all right? First reason is this. Not everybody has a podcast. There's plenty of room and opportunity for you to grow and build an audience. There's over 5 billion people on YouTube, over 1 billion people on Instagram. Guess what? When it comes to podcasts, according to iTunes, only 550,000 users have podcasts on iTunes. When you consider the fact that most people, most of everyone listens to podcasts via their cell phone, Apple alone has sold over 49 million iPhones last year. So that means you have plenty of people with the ability to listen to your content and there's plenty of room for you to grow. It's not crowded, it's not saturated. So get in, build the audience, and if you're smart, you connect it to YouTube and you do video, not just audio, and this way you can leverage the users that are on YouTube. Seems like a smart idea to me. So let's go on to step number two. The second reason why you should start your own podcast is because you have a lot to say. Everybody is good at something, right? You got some people that love to talk about sports. Some people love to talk about politics, love to talk about movies. There's something that you love to talk about that maybe your friends and family is sick of hearing about. But guess what? That person who lives on the other side of town, the other side of the country, the other side of the world, loves and wants to hear what you got to say. So they're going to tune in. So why not create that content for those people? I mean, it's only right. If you got a lot to say, you got something that you're passionate about, a podcast could be your thing. Now, third reason. The third reason you should start is because you don't need a lot of equipment in order to get going. I know what you're thinking. Come on, dude. I've seen the equipment that you have. Expensive microphones, expensive cameras, expensive headphones. Nah, 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 nah. You don't need to start there. All you really need is your cell phone, okay? Your cell phone and a pair of headphones. You got applications like Anchor, which will allow you to record what it is that you want to say directly into the app, and it can help you distribute it amongst iTunes, Spotify, and other places. So there's really no excuse. Now, don't get me wrong. You start there, but eventually you want to increase your quality as your audience grows because it is beneficial for you to have better equipment in case you want to start to maybe have interviews with other people. You're going to need to have other microphones. But again, you don't need to let that stop you. You can start today with just your iPhone. Let's go to step number four. The fourth reason is because a podcast can help you build your brand, all right? You might have some sort of professional service that you're running, all right? This is a great way to connect with users. If there's something that you got going on, maybe you're an artist, a rapper, or an actor, or actress, or something, you can use a podcast as a great way to get your thoughts out in a long form platform. Here's the difference, here's what I mean. When it comes to Twitter, you only allowed to do up to a certain amount of characters. When it comes to Instagram, it's just a photo and then the caption. People hardly read the caption. They just look at the photos. When it comes to YouTube, most people associate YouTube with short videos, 10 minutes, nine minutes. They're not thinking about a movie, right? Here's where a podcast comes in. See, a podcast is like a long conversation, right? That conversation could be between you and the user, or it could be you and another person. So this way, the audience feels like a fly on the wall. Either way, people go into a podcast with the understanding that this is going to be more than 10 minutes. It's going to be more than 20 minutes. It might be up to an hour. But guess what? Most of the time, people are listening to podcasts while they're driving, while they're cooking, while they're doing something. So this way, it's a great way for them to multitask so they don't, they don't mind hearing you talk for 45 minutes to an hour. That's a great opportunity for you to really, really tie it into your business model. Hey, it's just great marketing. Here's the fifth reason why you should start your podcast today. Because 
I created a podcast guide to help you do the previous four things in the most efficient way possible. Guys, when I started my podcast, the Bill Fain Thing podcast, I went through a lot of trials and error. There was a lot of things that I didn't know and I didn't have somebody particularly to ask. I had to find a lot of things out on my own. Some of the information online is either outdated or just wasn't really explained well. So what I did was I created this guide and I basically filtered through all the things that I know that you need to know. You need to know about software. You need to know about hardware. You need to know about how to even come up with a concept for your podcast. And you also need to know about distribution and hosting. These are things that I didn't know. Okay. But once you have this guide, you're going to be able to set yourself up with iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and more. And also when you pick up the guide, there's a 30 day free trial in there to Podbean to use as a host. So this way they can help you distribute it to all the other places that you need your podcast to be on. Guys, I can't stress it enough. Um, I've already showed this guide to a couple other people that I knew wanted to start a podcast and it was really the one stop shop. So if you're really serious about getting started and you really want to cut all the time out the way and just get right to it, definitely pick up the podcast starter guide um, straight from my digital store. It's going to help you get going. And before you know it, your podcast is going to be out to the world and you're going to be looking back and saying, damn, I should have started sooner. So as we go into 2019, if you have in mind to start a podcast, there's really no excuses anymore. I just gave you all the advice that you need to know in order to get going, pick up that starter guide and you'll be right on your way. Thank you for watching. I will catch you guys on the next episode. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're going to be starting a podcast. Let me know what it's about. All right. We all got to support each other. Maybe I'll check it out. And if you're not already, definitely check out the Bill for Anything podcast. I put out episodes every week on both iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, you name it, as well as on here on video on YouTube. So definitely check it out. Peace and love, you guys. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out.